Harris for sitting down in a well-covered room and grouping out of me myself. And no one ever told me I could do this, no one ever told me I would do this. But here I am, traveling around playing music for people. And the coolest thing for me, because playing the same song every night, that's kind of like getting waterboarded. It's like, yeah, it can be a little monotonous, honey. But getting to see how it translates to other people is the most beautiful thing for me, especially for the creative process, because that might mean one very particular thing to me. It could be like, oh yeah, that was about like my dog when I was nine years old. And you'd be like, yeah, well that's about my shitty little bike that I just got stolen last week. You are like, all right. I like the translation. It's different. It keeps things new for me. And it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful thing to see you guys come out and leave your bullshit at home. No one's fucking fighting. No one's pushing each other around. Y'all are constructively and responsibly bringing your alcohol. And I appreciate that shit. No one's speaking in each other's mouths or whatever you do when you get out of control. No, you guys are here having a good time. And that's beautiful to me. So thank you for providing us with this experience where we actually get to fuck. You don't get that much. So this song right here is about the people or the places or the things that inspire you to do beautiful, powerful things. And it doesn't have to be about music. It can be about artisanal light bulb making or erotic candlestick making. Whatever makes you happy, baby. That's the song. Talk about that. Nobody loves me a whole life. I was born 
Let me crush what it's like to be thrown in a box. Go ahead and never come back. Stay with the sunshine to cover your tracks. Don't wait for the fun times to save it a lot. Try to pay your pine lay straight on my cash. Yeah. I wanna live for the blood drive. I like who got a sunlight. Without a sip in the field, I'ma sit right here till the next woman comes back. Still, you gon' go and try. Show me the different cyber dating on lock. It got real quiet because you guys are afraid to admit that you fuck with that too, huh? Don't be ashamed. Do not be ashamed. Like, Tinder. Let me swipe. <laughs> Anybody got a Tinder? You got C on that shit. Drop yours down to a mile radius. You already do. Here's the one that says, I'm on tour. Y'all, y'all can figure it out. See? That's how you used to make a man. Hi, this is my friend Max. Hi, this is Carly. Cool. Fuck each other. Right now. Right now. That's how it used to go. <laughs> I feel like that's how you used to do it. And I get it. I'm getting a little older. I'm 31 years old now. I, I remember the closest... What did we have? We had fucking... Remember when AOL happened? It was probably really good you guys. And mostly the guys. You'd like go into the little chat rooms. And be like, all right, do you have huge tits? And you knew it was just some shitty old dude on the other side, like, yeah, I got huge tits. And you fucking, are you, are you touching your dick? And you're like, yeah. And you remember that? So, yeah, okay, cool. I'm not the only one that did that. Yeah. That shit was real. That taught us what sex was. <laughs> but it's a crazy thing. Things develop, and I get interested when I come to different towns, especially. It's summertime around here. Y'all can kick out the raincoats and fucking show some ass now. You know what I'm saying? And who would have thought about it? Eugene, Oregon's got some motherfucking booty. We were chilling out on the... Now, this isn't like just for the women. You have a fine ass, sir. Let me throw that down. That's what you're going. And I was sitting on that motherfucker on the picnic pictures outside. And I was just watching all the booty go by. I'm all I get to be creepy now. That's how it goes. I'm pretty much fucking married. I get to sit on a bench and watch booty go by. That's how it goes. But y'all got some fucking dope ass booties out here. Like there's is there like a booty church around the corner? Y'all the, the power of the booty compels you, huh? <laughs> no? She's like, I wouldn't know. I've never seen a booty. I'm a good Christian girl. Oh yeah. You, <laughs> Bam, baby! Shit. And that's tough. So I get a little curious when you got the booty and you got a little bit of alcohol mixed up in the mix and you got some good old fashioned sunshine. I get curious on what the dating pool gets like. Fucking Tinder, this is real life out here, man. You can't swipe on them. 
You gotta throw it down. Oh, man. Said, Look, you gotta throw it down. And maybe you are out here tonight. Maybe you meet a fella or, or a gal and y'all are throwing it down on each other. And you're like, fuck, let's do this. And you're like, all right, we're gonna go home. And you should just go home and fuck each other's brains out. You really should. And you shouldn't let people shame you for that. Because a lot of y'all try to fuck around too much. Y'all try to fuck around and have an adult relationship right off the motherfucking bat. Like that's fucking possible. No, what you need to do is go home and fuck the holy Christ out of each other. And then you can figure out if shit is working. Because the thing is, is you don't want to be the motherfucking 85 year old couple just drive around in your Buick with Sabre wondering what anal feels like. You want to get all that shit out the way right motherfucking now so you can understand what your kind of weird is, you know? And maybe you will find him tonight or her tonight. Or maybe you won't. But when you do find somebody with your kind of weird, that's when you can start figuring out your adult relationship and your sparks can fly and shit can happen. And that's where I start to see motherfucking people getting shamed these days. I start seeing these little memes on the internet. It's all the internet. They go, I can't even leave the house anymore without motherfuckers catching feelings. Catching feelings. You know what that means, right? Falling in love. And we're gonna shame somebody for falling in love, Eugene. And I think that's bullshit, because the world don't need any more long dick, big, pimping ass motherfuckers. What we need is more lovers, Eugene. That's what the world needs. It makes us human, it makes us whole, it makes us real. So tonight, I don't want to shame anybody for being in a relationship, in a loving relationship. Is there anybody here, y'all found your kind of weird, and you actually learned to forge yourself a loving, caring, relationship out of that. Anybody, you are standing alone. If y'all aren't fucking each other, I know you are. Don't play with me. Well, you too. This is perfect. Y'all can see them, right? You see the happiness on their face? That's perfect. Because this song right here ain't about your love and care and relationship at all. Hell no. This song is when you fall in love with somebody that doesn't have the power to love you back. Sitting on your bed with another man Listening to your D'Angelo records Hell no, baby
same job. But before that, before I drink the whole goddamn thing with you, I need all of you jeans to clap with us, please. Let's do one more song.
niggas if you try a drug Niggas, you motherfuckers eat your black pig Cause when blacks kill blacks, we stay trying And that's free And we don't need no more statistics It's time to get more realistic So you're the fuck in the kitchen Until my people get lifted There's no problem with shit Cause while we live this day And watch it, we gon' hear this shit On, 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 on Yeah, 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 yeah Ain't never worked. My missing. The B, the E, the A, the N, the O, the N, the E, P. One.